this fucking Castle 09. These are soccer replays. I was told to review these and analyze them. Fortunately, I happen to play soccer myself. So let's make an analysis. I've been struggling a lot with this matchup. I think this might be one of Sakura's worst. Sakura doesn't really have a good anti-air for um, Kimmy. What we got here? Okay. That's not too bad. Ooh, big punish. That was quite good. Crouch face would have maybe been a bit better. But I don't know. You get better Oki after the um, staying strong back fierce, so I would call that pretty good. The damage if loss isn't too big. Mm, okay, that can happen. Fireballs are... Like, you don't want to have no fireballs. But this is maybe a bit much, especially considering Kemi can EX drill through them once you got a bar. Alright. It's okay. It's okay. Getting thrown. <laughs> See, that was Crouch Fierce getting beaten. Um, Hold on. Time out. Everything just went so fast. Getting thrown by Kemi is awesome, to be honest. Mid-screen. Okay, it's not awesome, but like it's not bad. Mid screen, you don't even care. Even in the corner, you don't care that much. Um, Crouch Fierce against Kimmy. Very tempting when she jumps to try and hit Crouch Fierce. That's what just happened here. It didn't work. Um, uh, anti airing Kimmy is kind of a trick. And by that, I mean I wish I knew of a better way to do it. You can VT up. That's probably what should have happened here, I guess. I don't know. Did he even have the VT? I don't know. He had it when he was getting hit, but I don't know if he had it already. I don't think he did. Okay, he did. He could have done maybe, like, if you're anti-airing Kami, you can activate your V-trigger as soon as you see her jump. And then, uh, if she's, like, I don't know, if if she's already dive-kicking or something like that, you can maybe anti-air with, like, DP. Your invincible DP. Um, but generally speaking, anti-airing Kami is really hard without jumping yourself. And then what happened after that EX dive-kick? What was the reset? Yeah, immediately low strong. Really shouldn't have hit a button there. This is still winnable, but it's hard. Yeah, that's just mix up. Two mix ups plus like a failed anti on a dive kick. That's like why I don't like this matchup. Um, jump back. I th I've heard good soccer players use jump back roundhouse. I haven't had much success with that. You could maybe use jump strong as well. I also haven't had that much success with that. Usually I just whiff, and she whiffs, so it's a bit stupid. These wake up normals aren't doing a whole lot of work. Big punish. There we go. Good start. Yeah, that's what I would have done. Technically speaking, back fierce does a bit more damage, but you've got to do a lot of approaching before you can do back fierce against Kimmy. That was probably plus in that context. I don't know. If After the demon flip, uh, Kimmy's often plus with her dive kick. Ew. Uh, it's over. What a cool punish. That was a good Kami. I don't even know what I advise with this match. I need to do some more work myself. Um, Maybe stand fierce wasn't good. Maybe more use of light normals. Stand jab and uh, stand short are quite good against Kami in neutral. You don't want to use committal stuff like stand house or um, stand fierce that much. Otherwise, it was just mostly getting counter hit and occasionally getting thrown. More Veer Vistles would probably be alright. Kenny really didn't need to commit to anything that late in the match. She could have gotten thrown and not cared. So the XDP was quite desperate, but I understand why it happened. Let's see if we can get more download. Yeah, being minus two against Kami is quite fine, so I don't mind using hard Tatsu, but the startup is kind of bad, so you've got a good chance of getting hit out of it. Light Tatsu is quite good in this matchup, I find. Being minus against Kami is actually not a big deal at all. Yeah, like that. I do those a lot in this matchup. I have not commentated on I haven't even watched the first 10 yet. That could have been anti-aired. You can react to that kind of stuff. See, that would have been nice if it was cancelled. Nice. I uh, don't know about EX. EX adds almost no damage over medium. There's really no need to EX that. 
Nice light DPE. Light DPE has upper body invincibility. That was good. Good selection of ATR based on the range. I probably wouldn't have done that. I probably would have just let any jumps fly, to be honest. Anti-airing jumps was like a way to lose, but Kemi probably wasn't going to use EX considering the meters. And EX dive kick is the main way that Kemi can fuck with you. That was whiff punish on stand short. Good shit. Watch the range on that normal. Ooh, the counter hit combo. You can react to that. It's a good skill. Crouch jab into stand short. I do a lot more stand jab and a lot less crouch jab. These crouch jabs don't really need to be crouch jabs. Crouch jab is one frame faster, but it loses some range and it loses a lot of combo ability. If you get crouch jab, you often get nothing unless you're very, very close or get counter hit. And then you've got to react to the counter hit and go to stand short and cancel it immediately. But if you get stand jab, you can always combo a stand short and the stand short combos into drill. I mean, uh, DP at all ranges. Low strong is pretty good in this matchup. You might have a little bit of success with that. Low forward is really good too. That was nice. And by that I mean you took your life in your hands. That was interesting. I was Kimmy so far back there. That was like point blank, stand jab, and then stand strong just whiffed. Uh, bad reaction. Something you should be ready for if Kimmy anti-airs you. That was good. Uh, that should have been DP. Yeah, I don't like that. I want to see a V trigger activate of some variety. Not that one. I want to see the other one. I want to see Sakura activate. Try not to throw a fireball when she's got super. And also try not to eat a drill. Oh, that's it. Rather life? What's the new one? I don't know why the sub notification stopped working. I'll have to do some research. This matchup's not so bad. Anti airing with jumps is again quite good in this matchup, but it's a lot easier than doing it with Kimmy. Jump strong is a very nice anti air attack. Because that way you can preempt any sort of air fireballs. Nice little sneaky cross under. Nice damage combo. If you get um, a hard dash punch, what was actually his follow up? Hard dash punch, what the fuck? A hard DP. And then you do dash forward into stand strong. It's actually a meaty. It will beat anything that they can do on wake up. Hard DP, the different DPs all have the same knockdown state, so you're always the same amount of, like, you're always plus six after forward dash, after all of her DPs. But um, hard DP leaves you the closest, medium DP leaves you kind of far away, and uh, light DP leaves you really far away. But that's not really a problem, because most of her combos don't end in light DP. Um, so if you do dash in after a hard DP, you're really close to them. You're not, like, you might be, like, just inside, just outside the range. It might be, like, a dash and then, like, a smidge of walking to get the throw. But stand strong is like still... No, you, I think you're just close enough. I don't remember. Um, if you do a frame perfect dash into a stand strong, you get a meaty stand strong, and then you can link a stand fierce from it. Frame perfect dash, frame perfect stand strong. Most people don't hit buttons on their very first frame of wake up, so it's not like that's like a big thing. The ghost from Mario's foot. Maybe. Michelle Boo. Um... So there's no reason not to, especially on an Akuma with no meter, there's no reason not to take the, the Oki there. Like, what's he going to do? But you back off instead and you, like, wait. So that would be a little thing to fix, is learn your Oki after your, after your hard DP. I think even after medium DP, you can do, like, dash in into stand run house, and that'll preempt most stuff that the opponents can do. That was not a bad jump. It was maybe late, considering the context. Good shit. Should have been hard DP, but whatever. I do that under sometimes myself when I'm not ready. That was a quite good punish, considering the context. Yeah, oh. That really sh had no business being staying strong. I mean, of course hindsight's twenty twenty. So I'm sure you're thinking the same thing as soon as you made this drop. But uh, stand strong doesn't cancel. And stand strong from this far away had no link. It maybe had a link into stand short. Like, that was a late button press, so it wasn't a punish when it should have been. But also, it probably should have been, like, low strong at the hard DP or let forward into hard DP. If it was me, to be 100% honest, I probably would have done stand short into um, medium DP. Um, crouch fierce into medium Tatsu would have been good, I think, from that range, because that gets you really, really close by the time you're done with it, and then that leads to your max damage combo. 
those were some things that were better there. Blocking was good in that context. I like the blocking. Be careful about Viva Verse Onokuma because he can be Skelet. Uh oh. You have to pay a lot of respect to Okuma once he's got the V trigger up. You have to um, kind of just let him jump in. You have to kind of like anti air him with like jump back into nothing. Yeah, a lot of letting him jump in. I say neutral jumper, maybe jump forward. If you see him jump, jump forward. Nice punish. And then meet him with a jump strong. Jump strong is quite good in this context. Most people don't hit button air buttons early enough. They're doing some lag jabs. Catch fierce. I would have done it there. Pretty sure that works. Okay. So technically back fierce does do more damage than that combo. That's a couple times that we've seen you do it. Um, uh, a stamina house in a situation where back fierce was feasible after a blocked DP, for example. If it's a whiff DP, I understand. But a blocked DP is a time where you really probably should have gone for back fierce. The combo is back fierce into a fully charged up fireball into a... Um, uh, hard DP. And you'd have to be quite close. Nice blocking. No reason to do anything right now. Do not do anything. Nice uh, fit cross up. BT1, huh? The VT activates are really late, to be honest. Sakura has a VT you can activate very, very early. I respect the attempt, but um, it's easier to wake up with an EX DP than a super because there's no super freeze to telegraph you. <sighs> I do that on accident sometimes because I overroll. The Sakuma is quite happy with his jumps. Ooh, nice. The immediate throw is quite good there. Immediate throw or immediate stand strong are both very good options. Ah, back fierce is not a very good anti air. Crouch fierce in that range would have been okay. But I'd still be looking for jump strong into air tatsu. That's quite a good anti-air in this matchup. You'll get out of the way of a air fireball very quickly. Jump short. Jump strong. You won't feel the loss in power. Anti-airing with ground with crutch fierce just doesn't work against Takuma's air fireball. Nice. Air throw is good too. Jump air throw is a very good anti-air in this matchup. I'm saying a lot of jump strong, but air throw does almost as much damage. I also wouldn't mind uh, V trigger activate anti-air. That's quite good. Oh, big punish. Walk under him. Mm, that was not even the right DP. The right DP might have killed. Alright. So for the record, the combo that should have happened here, let's, let's think about it just a little bit, okay? If you just wanted to do a better combo than what you did, um, the combo was probably closing a little bit. Wait for him to land. I don't know. Waiting for him to land is actually not necessary for that. Uh, hard DP. So that was probably what you should have done, because that was a medium DP, and hard DP works there. Um, and hard DP would have probably killed. Um, the combo that was better, but still not technically optimal, was walk under Akuma, and then do that same combo, but with Akuma going towards the corner. And then you could have converted it a little bit more easily into a... Um, uh, uh, kill combo, because then you could have done an EX DP there, or you could have used an EX Tatsu after the up fireball, or something like that. Sakura has a lot of uh, combo options on cornered opponents. You can fairly easily juggle in that context into a um, uh, EX Tatsu or an EX DP. Um, uh, the technically optimal punish would have been to walk under Akuma and put him into the corner, and then do uh, V Trigger Activate, and then do. Um, Back fierce into fully charged VT1 fireball, and then hard tatsu, and then like light DP from there. But there were a lot of kill opportunities off of that, and I'm sure you didn't need me to list all of them. Even canceling the super would have been better than fucking not killing Akuma, I feel. Definitely good to spend the super to let him die right now. Nice. That's an A-OK -okay way to kill him. I like the activate to give you some reaction time. I like the uh, the reaction time used to pick a kill option. That was really nice. Jump hard quick's quite good. 
One thing that Sakura can do is if you neutral jump and do jump hard kick in an opportunity where the opponent would be doing a delayed throw, you can catch them. It's kind of a nice little option. She can mix up throw with neutral jump. Okay, that was really good. Uh, Stand Fierce. Oh my god. Alright, get me a kill combo. Uh, that's A-OK. -okay. That was an A-OK -okay kill combo. There were so many things that would have been okay, and that was one of them. Mm, that was the late throw attack. Okay, that dash under was really good, but it probably should have been a stand short. Nice little combo! That was good. Okay. That was the forward dash into the stand strong me. That was good. That was a really bad anti air. You need to watch the anti airs. That's like the easiest way you can fix things up right now. You picked characters that are hard to anti air, Sakura. Having her her crouch fierce is a good normal, but having only a anti air normal against uh, Kimi and Akuma is a big downside. You seem to be aware that dashing under a uh, demon flipper and or a jump for air fireball is quite good. But that's not always available. You're paying him way too much respect midair. A jump air thrower or a jump strong would just do so much work. We're going to anti-air V-trigger activate. Which there have been a lot of opportunities for. Okay. <laughs> that was not a bad idea. It's just poorly executed. So what is low forward into activate? It's plus 5 I think. I think you have to go. Yeah, that's not very good in VT1. I call a mouse on the screen. Just realized it. In VT2, that's quite good because you have better options from lights. But VT1. Alright, wake up super. A jump? Looked like he'd already jumped now. These crutch faces are just. They just need work. Hmm. It's four frame low strong right there. No confirm from the stand strong, that would have been good. I wouldn't EX DP, but you did, and it worked. Uh I would be watching so hard for an anti RB trigger right now. I'd be watching so hard. Never mind, this might kill. He didn't need to do damage optimal and it still killed. Anti RB trigger was what you should have been thinking about. Watch for the jump. V trigger activate on the jump. I would probably pick VT2 against Takuma, to be quite frank. The um, DP through fireballs is kind of good. Abigail! VT2, uh, VT2 Sakura can DP through ground or air fireballs. The O is just a bit worse than the Otto. Japanese. I played this matchup just a little bit and it feels okay. And as much as I think Sakura is probably a maybe lowish tier and Abigail is a maybe highish tier. But it still feels alright. I would never ever use Tatsus in this matchup basically at all though. All fireballs in the places where you would do Tatsus. That was very unsafe. He didn't confirm it. Crutch Fierce would have been nice there. Now you're in a really bad position. That was quite good though. I like charged fireballs a lot in this matchup. Abigail has to respect them a lot. He can't easily do anything about them. That was a bad crouch for yours. I like that jump. Not a lot of risk in this matchup. Cancelling that would have been nice. So Abigail's going nutty with the crouch run house. It'd be fine if you blocked it. So around us is not horrible in this matchup, but you've got a good chance of getting counter hit out of it. Fireballs are good. Don't surrender too much ground though. I like the forward dash. That was not a good spacing on that, but I understand why you did it. Even light DP was probably a bad idea at that range. I think I cannot anti air that kind of jump. Yeah, no anti air from that range, that was smart. Punish this, crutch fierce. That was fine. A hard DP into that would have been better. Probably a hard DP by itself would have been better still, but you'll get this meter back. 
Is A okay? Okay. Nice. You're not going too many fireballs. You're anti his jumps. This is looking like you've got good control. Yeah, trying to catch him. He's been doing reversal normals a lot. The box strings are good against that. Try to avoid Light Tatsu in this matchup. Do not let Abigail be plus two. Starting a whole lot of ground. Watch for that anti B trigger. That was it. Wow. Very nice. That was literally exactly what I was talking about. Good shit. Good shit. Good shit. Uh, mind fireballs against a Abigail with super, just so you know. Do not do fireballs against an Abigail with super, just so you know. Just so you know not to do these fireballs. Don't do them. Like, every one of these fireballs is bad. Okay. That kind of fireball is okay. Mm, Lady P was good. Boom, boom, boom. Soccer can usually punish that with a um, stage short. Punish. That was okay. Could have been a lot better. Uh, of all the worst anti normals I've ever seen in my whole life, that was one of them. I like the walk forward before that throw, but EXTP was probably good there. Or super. Or more walking. Minot would literally die for Sim's teleport. I think that Minot is generally better than Sim, and her ceiling is also higher. You have to do dash into stand short there, because jab short was too far away. You got a really far uh, Salmon House counter, crush counter. Yep, it's you. I'm watching your archives. I've already been talking about them for the last 16 minutes. Surprise, motherfucker. Krisna. Krisna. Nice jump. You've been getting your reads, like, dead on. That was not point blank. Oftentimes after a neutral jump, you won't be point blank. Mm, should have been DP. Oof. This can hurt. That goes cheap. If you're running VT1, you should be 100% ready for... Um, oh, nice punish. If you're running VT1, you should be 100% ready for uh, a successful fireball to DP after. That's like the whole point of this V-Trigger. He's getting nice damage after fireballs. Whoa. Charge fireball's good. Yeah, it was the right idea, but the wrong, the wrong timing. Even that spacing was good enough. Your DPs look like they've been alright for the most part. I would not ever, ever, ever use Hard Tatsu in this matchup. It's not worth it. Uh, lack of anti-air was bad. Could have been an air throw to get Abigail into the corner, or even a Crouch Fierce to get him to not jump in. Dragon's Dogma is not a super, super long game, but I will be doing all the quests in it, which does take a while. Dragon's Dogma is a short game with a lot of content. Wow, that's smart. So the trick with Abigail is jump over him. You know, a lot of people jump up or back, but jumping towards is actually the best by far. Uh, that was a bad thing to pursue. Uh, that should have been medium DP. Yeah, if you jump over Abigail, Abigail can't stop running. That's a big thing about Abigail's run, is that there's no cancel. You can't just stop your run. You can either punch, which whiffs kind of quickly, uh, kick, which goes really far, or parry, so that you can time your parry so that they um, they hit you. Those are Abigail's only ways to save his... Like, the grab is basically useless uh, if they jump over you. Those are the only ways he can save his run if, um, if someone jumps over him. So the trick with Abigail is if you jump over him... Um, you dash way the fuck towards him. You just dash, 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 dash. You keep up with him. That's your entire concern. Is just stay close to him. Just chase that Abigail as he's running. And whenever he does anything, like any of his follow-ups, the parry, the flip kick, the punch, if he does anything, then you punish that. So you chase him until he stops running, and then you punish it. 
90% of the time. That means Abigail's doing a lot of run punch, which is not super deadly. Just block those and punish them if your character can punish them. You have to be aware of what Abigail's trying to do. But an early jump will get over even those. Um, but once you see Abigail with the punch, once you see him do the flip kick, um, once you see him do the parry, no matter what you see him do, after you jump over him, hopefully you're close, you can punish with like Crouch Fierce or something like that. If it's the parry, you can actually do like Back Fierce and get the Crush Counter. The parry is, cr the parry is Crush Counter punishable. Jumping over Abigail is quite good. Nice block. It probably okay. See that probably would have been a near kill combo. That probably was a kill combo. Okay, it might still be. Cool. I was gonna say a hard DP there would have probably made that kill, but it died anyway. It being Abigail. non-charged fireball. It's okay to do this. That Crutch Fierce was a bit risky. He could have whiffed his... He could have empty jumped. That was a good time to Crutch Fierce. Those happen. He lost a lot of health. That also happens. Abigail's a cheap character. I know I said I don't like meing minus two against Abigail, but to be 100% honest, an EX Tatsu just to get some corner push would be kind of good. Alright. Uh, you actually get... Hmm. So if you get a Crush Counter Stairman House, you can do Dash in Back Fierce. So that was like a really unoptimal combo, and you dropped it anyway. The Fireballs were actually okay. Your Fireballs were one of your nicer points of your matches so far, including against the Abigail. That being said, don't throw um, Fireballs against an Abigail with Super. Sam Fierce doesn't do a whole lot of work in my experience in this matchup. That was a good punish. Good awareness. Nice corner push. That was smart. Do not talk to against Abigail. Cancel the fireball is A-OK. -okay. That kind of shit. I like it. In this matchup, it's the prefer preferred. Nice. It depends. I mean, it depends on when you do the fireball cancel. He can jab punish it if it's... Oh, back fierce. Oh, you did stand short. Um, depending on how far away Sakura is, when she does the cancel into fireball, the fireball takes different amounts of time to travel. If you do stand strong, low forward into fireball, it's like minus two or something. He can't jab punish it, and also the jab will not interrupt between that sequence. Abigail has a really bad time interrupting sequences anyway. Stand jab, stand strong, low forward is uh, a series of frame traps that uh, Abigail cannot break at all. Well, he can break them with armor. Um, so right here, this is a low forward activate, and it's a counter hit. Good habit. Uh, watch for the counter hit. If you get a counter hit, you can do back fierce. Back fierce does a lot more damage than stand short. You also have better follow-ups. Oof. Abigail's cheap. Oh, <laughs> he should have gone for Abigail Punch. Nice, he got him. He had no reason not to go for Abigail Punch. That juggle is easy. He went for the hard juggle. I can see little combo optimizations. But the neutral optimizations are harder. Your neutral is actually okay. It could be a bit better. I like the general way that you're playing this, although you are surrendering a lot of ground. You can stop Abigail from approaching moderately with just staying short and um, like low strong, certain buttons. You can also get ground back by doing very close jumps. Abigail hates those. Usually he can only get... Uh, Sakura's jump hard kick is a really good hitbox. Um, usually you can make him block before he can even, like he would be going for a jab, or you can counter hit him out of it. And even if you get A tier jab, it's not that bad. Well, it can be, depending on the following mix-up, but it's usually not that bad. 
Very nice. I don't mind that. Fireball. That was not a bad fireball. Ooh. You got lucky that he V reversed that, because otherwise you'd be dead. But you're dead anyway. I'll play you right now if you want to play. I wouldn't mind doing some soccer mirrors. Fuck the safe strike. It's the same safe strike we just watched.